Hello guys and welcome to this video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to reduce your device lag so that you can have a smoother gaming experience. So I've already made a video on how to reduce your device lag using an app but uh, the app requires good access for you to be able to use it. So uh, if your phone is rooted then you can check, that out, check out the video instead because uh, that's much easier. I'll post the uh, links in the description so you can go ahead and check, check it out. But if your device is not booted, then I'm going to show you a method which will help you, which will allow you to do the same thing but without good access. Okay, so to get started with it, we need to download some files from the net. So I've posted the links in the description so you can check that out. So first you go and download the a file called minimal ADD and fast food too so I posted the links in the description so when you click on that you will see this web page so you have to go and click on the latest version so when you click click on that you will <coughs> be redirected to the download page so you have to scroll down and click on click here to start download so when you do that your download it should start so I've already downloaded so I won't download it again. So once you're downloaded, once you have downloaded the file, uh, go to your download folder and you'll see a zip file. So you have to extract this zip file. So I'm not sure you how to do it, but I'm pretty sure you already know. So after that it's extracted it, you will get this exe file. So you have to install this exe file onto your system just follow the instructions that displayed on the screen as uh, just the same things as you would do while installing any other software on the PC. So after that you go to C drive and then you go to minimal ADB and password. From here you have to launch the command here.exe file. So when you, when you launch that you will get this interface. So when you have the interface keep it keep it like that. Okay, so once it, one, once it launches, you have to now you have to turn on your developer options in your device. To do that, you go to your system settings, and then click on About Phone. It may be different in your phone, but uh, go just go to your About Phone and then search for an option called Build Number, and then just tap on it multiple times until it says you are now a developer. So once you're done, once you have done that, you find a new option in your settings list. So it should be there in your settings list. So just search for it. So once you are inside, you will see that the developer options is on. So after that, just scroll down and then turn on the USB debugging mode. So press OK, and then you're done. Uh, just just in case if you wanna turn it off after you have done this tutorial then you can just toggle it off okay so after that you have to connect your phone and pc using the usb cable and then type adb shell if it shows that output then everything is set up correctly now you can proceed to the next step okay now you open up your browser back again and type in your device model number so in my case it's asus Zenfone. so i'll type that and then add specs at the end to check its specifications. So I press the enter button and wait for it to load. So from among the search results, I will go to gsmarena.com and click on it. So when you click that, you see this interface. So you have to scroll down and what you're interested, what you need to look for is screen size. Uh, 5.9 inches and then the resolution pixels and then the 18 to 9 ratio not this down somewhere so that you won't forget it okay so i've added a list of 18 is to 9 and 16 is to 9 ratio resolutions in the description so you can go ahead and look at that list so you have to choose a screen resolution which is lesser than the current resolution that is being displayed here 
So make note of a resolution lower than that and you can go ahead or to the next step. So after that, you have to go to another website, which is uh, which basically calculates the DPI. I have posted the link in the description, so you can just click and visit the website. So in this website, you will see horizontal resolution, vertical resolution, and diagonal. So in horizontal res resolution, you add the higher value from the pixels, and then in the vertical resolution, you add the lower value. And then in the diagonal, you enter your own screen size, which you noted earlier. So once you have done that, look at the line below and search for the word PPI and then note down the number before it. So in this case, it's 403.16. You can ignore the numbers after the point and just take the whole number. So you will just note down 403. After that, you can go to the next step. So once you're done with that, you can open up back that ADD interface and then type ADD shell WM size and then the resolution that you noted earlier, the lower resolution comes first and then the higher resolution. And then you press enter. If everything goes right, then no error should pop out. And then after that, you type in ADB shell WM density and then you enter the PPI value that you noted earlier. So in this case it was 403, so I'm gonna enter that. And then press enter. And that's all you need to do for reducing your device lag. If you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified about new videos. If you have any queries about the video, then please do let me know in the comment section. And as always, thank you for watching.